Hey everybody, how you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. I know I am. Um, I'm outside. I'm uh, in the outdoors. I'm in nature. And best of all, look behind me. I'm out at a lake. Um, and uh, anytime there's water like that, there's a tremendous opportunity to to go fishing. So um, if you're tuning in right now, hopefully you got a chance to see some of the promotions for this Facebook series that we're going to be holding here over the next five days. Um, and we're going to be talking a lot of real basic stuff on how to go fishing. Um, if you're new to the sport, if you've wanted to fish your whole life, if you fished as a kid um, and lost connection with it, or, or if you're a mother, a father, an uncle, an aunt, a cousin, and you want to teach kids how to fish, this is going to be a good series for you. Uh, see some people checking in on Facebook right now. I see Aaron uh, checking in on Facebook. Um, hi, Aaron. How you doing? We're also live over on Instagram as well. So if you're watching on Instagram, hello to you as well. Um, this is going to be a fun series over the next five days. Uh, every day, we're going to pick up the pace a little and teach you some stuff about fishing. Um, teach you a lot of the really basic stuff that you need to know to go out on the water and have a great day. Um, a lot of guys checking in right now. Uh, Brian checking in. Uh, we've got Dylan checking in with us. Lee checking in on Facebook. Uh, we've got Aaron on Facebook. We've got Yoshi Yang checking in. Hello. Um, listen to me. Um, right now, let me start with this. Right now is the strangest time of my life. And I'm sure if you're watching right now, it's a very, very strange time for you as well. I keep hearing the word unprecedented. These are unprecedented times. They are. And, uh, and you, you know, it's, it's scary. Um, a lot of the normal things that you like to engage in, uh, work, um, your normal sports, playing golf, uh, playing softball at work, you know, um, a lot of norm normality in life has has changed. Um, we're we're in a different time right now. But here is the great thing about fishing. Fishing, what what you see behind me, being on the water, being outside, being in nature, is one of the last great sports that is not affected by what's going on right now. Um, there's no better time to be outside to self-quarantine in nature. Um, this is a great time to fish. Let me also, I want to preface this by saying, um, I want you to abide by your federal guidelines and laws. Abide by your state guidelines and laws. If you're watching from other parts in the world, wh whatever country you're in, uh, I see Italy checking in right now. Um, please abide by your laws and regulations. But, but if you're in a place in this world where you can go fishing, what a great time. What a great time to enjoy the sport. When you, when you can't do other things, you can't go to the mall. You can't, uh, hang out with your buddies at the pub. Um, you can't go golfing with six of your best friends. Think about all those activities. You have to pay, you have to register, you have to go in an establishment with a lot of people. The great thing about fishing, I brought some props for you. The great thing about fishing, look at this. Look, this is all you need. This is all you need is a couple rods, a little tackle box, and it's you against the fish. That's it. That's it. 
It is the perfect time to go fishing. So if you're in an area of the world or a state where you're still allowed to fish, what a great activity this is right now during this strange, unprecedented times. Uh, great time uh, in, in your life. If you're watching and you haven't tried fishing yet, this is a great time to pick it up. This is a great time to relearn it. This is a great time to rekindle your love for the sport. Um, I don't know of anything better right now than to be able to go outside and be alone or be with your kids or be with someone that you're quarantining with and have a good time. Uh, a great time to, to go out with one of your best buddies in the world, your best uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, uh, keep the safe distance. Keep the social quarantining distance. Six feet in most cases. Um, wear a buff, but still get to enjoy the outdoors and this awesome sport called fishing. So, um, you know, we're going to be talking over the next five days. I'm going to be hammering home this, that if you're allowed to be outside, if you're allowed to go to the lake, um, state lake, state park, county lake, a private lake, a local stream, a river. Uh, please, if you're allowed to, by all means, this is a great way right now uh, to to enjoy. Uh, we got Bill checking in with us, uh, one of my good friends. Bill, how you doing? Uh, Donnie checking in with us. We got Brandon checking in with us, uh, of course, over on Facebook. Uh, Reno, a uh, good friend of mine, is checking in with us. Uh, we got AJ. We got Kimberly. Uh, Kimberly checking in with us right now, Buzz. Uh, Kimberly just brought something up, and this is going to be the second point of this introductory piece to learning fishing, to going fishing. Here's the second great point. Uh, Kimberly m made me think of it. It is that no matter where you live, listen to me on this one. If you live in the country, if you live in the suburbs, if you live in the city, or anywhere in between, if there is water, if there's water near where you live, I'm going to make you one promise right now. I promise there are fish that swim in that water. I promise you. I promise. Um, a lot of people know that I had some uh, I have a few TV shows in the past, the Fish My City, City Limits Fishing. Everywhere I went, I don't care if it was the most crowded city in the world, New York City, uh, to little smaller suburbs, to everything in between, fish are a very adaptive animal. They're a very adaptive creature. And if you live near water, I promise you, I promise there are fish that swim in that waterway, okay? So if you're watching right now and you're, you're saying, oh, I've never fished before, uh, that's the first whammy. Don't worry about it. Second whammy, oh, I live in a city. Oh, I live, I live in a, a part of the country that's only little ponds. Oh, I only live near a stream. Um, listen to me. There are fish that swim in that body of water, okay? There are fish that swim in that body of water. So um, if, if you're from the city, the suburbs, anything in between, you can enjoy this sport. You can take this sport up and enjoy it. Uh, it's such a great thing. I, I can tell you that for me, I grew up in Philadelphia. I lived in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania till I was six. I moved to a suburb of New Jersey uh, when I was seven. After that, I went to school in a fairly big city. And then I moved to the suburbs again. And finally, now in my late 40s, I live in the country. Everywhere I lived and everywhere I've been in my travels, when there's water, 99.9% .9 of the time, there are fishing opportunities, okay? So, so if you've got water near you, it's a great time to go out and try fishing on that body of water. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about why fishing? Why fishing right now? Uh, you know, uh, I mentioned earlier, there's, um, 
strange times. There's a lot of negative stuff going on. Why fishing? Why now? Why fishing? Why now? Um, fishing is one of the last great sports that will connect you to nature. Look at that. Look behind me. I'm outside. I am in the outdoors. Um, there's trees. There's grass. I've, there's, got, there's birds flying around. There's fish jumping in the water. Um, I'm going to see more wildlife. It is a great sport because it connects you with nature directly. Okay? If you're watching this right now and you said, ah, oh, man, I don't, I don't know. Fishing seems intimidating. Don't be intimidated. It's not. Over these next five days, we're going to get into how easy it is to begin. But listen, this sport, fishing, connects you with nature. So many other sports out there nowadays. And, and I'm not knocking other sports. Um, golf, tennis, football, basketball, baseball, ping pong, uh, bowling. A lot of other sports are removed or have removed themselves from outside and nature. They're indoors. They're, uh, you know, gosh, they're in arenas. They're closed off from nature. They're closed off from nature. But the arena for fishing, look at it. It's behind me. It's nature. It's, it's the God-given outdoors. It's beautiful. Um, and, and connecting with nature is so important nowadays with, with computers and even what we're doing now. So many things are moving away from nature and the outdoors. But fishing, look at it, direct connection with nature. Um, for those of you that are watching that already fish or you're not interested in fishing yourself, but you're going to take a kid fishing. You're going to take a child fishing during this strange time. You're going to take a kid fishing. What better activity to connect a child to nature, to the outdoors than fishing? How amazing is that? How, how amazing is that? Um, you know, I can't tell you enough. Again, looking at my own past growing up in Philadelphia, Thank God my uncle and my grandfather and my mom and my grandmother liked the outdoors and they liked fishing. Because if I didn't learn that early, who knows? Who knows, right? And, and I'm not trying to say everything that's indoors is bad. I'm just saying it's a very special thing to have a connection to nature and the outdoors. And for kids nowadays, that can be a challenge um, for, for a lot of children, a tablet or a computer, a TV is all they know. There's so much more right here and, um, and it provides a direct connection with nature. So if you're watching right now and you said, man, you know what? I got to I got to try fishing with my kids, with my nephew, with my niece, with my cousin. Um, what a, what a great sport to connect those kids to nature. What a, what a great sport to connect those kids to nature. Um, here's the other two things while we're on the topic of fishing is why else? Why, why else am I going to try fishing? Why else am I going to introduce a kid to fishing? Let me tell you, there are two other big reasons. And if you're watching this right now and, and you really want to take your kid fishing. If you're a mom, if you're a mother, if you're a single mother, if you're a dad, if you're a single parent, if you're an uncle, fishing does more than connect you with nature. It's more than just fun. We're going to talk about that at the end. Fishing teaches amazing life lessons. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not perfect. I'm human like everybody. I make mistakes. But some of the best lessons I've ever learned in my life, I've learned being outside and fishing. Um, all right, you're, you're listening right now and, and you're saying, what are you talking about? How does fishing teach life lessons? You know, if you're thinking that right now, listen, hear me out on this. 
There are so many pieces to fishing that teach you life lessons. There is um, patience, of course, when we finally get out there and go fishing and we're waiting for a bite. You have to learn patience. Um, there is the part of fishing where you have to solve. Fishing's a puzzle. At the very basic level, if you're fishing for bluegills with a bobber, or if you're a hardcore bass tournament angler, you have to figure out the puzzle of fishing. These, these little things that we have to figure out. How do I get a bite? Should I try a different spot? I gotta reel it a little bit. You're, you're constantly figuring out a puzzle. You have to learn that. Um, there's coordination. There's uh, time management. Uh, there's uh, uh, simple research skills. There's math skills. Uh, there's communication skills. All this stuff, all these basic life skills you can learn by gone fishing. Uh, it's, it's funny because I know a lot of you right now are thinking, man, I never thought about that. Uh, I never thought about fishing as teaching, you know, life skills, but, um, surely does. There's plenty of life lessons that you can learn while you're out there, uh, fishing as well. Um, let's talk about basic skills. Uh, and this is another one I want to harp on, especially for younger people and kids. If you're a kid watching right now, if you're a teenager, or if you're a, a, an adult or a parent watching, it fishing also teaches tremendous basic skills. Basic, basic skills. Um, over the next uh, you know, four or five days, you're going to get to watch as we assemble tackle, a rod and reel, put line on, a tie on a lure, um, tie on a, a bobber with a hook. And through fishing, we're going to learn a lot of really basic skills as well. We're going to learn how to tie a knot. We're going to learn how to spool up a rod, the mechanics of that. We're going to learn how to organize, how to organize our box. We're going to learn, um, how to put bait on a hook. We're going to talk about how to pick a spot, selecting a spot on the lake. We're going to talk about um, detecting a bite. So having, having that knowledge to detect a bite, to set the hook, to reel it in. And then we're going to talk about after you catch that fish, you know, either catching it and releasing it, letting it go, or uh, surely um, if you want to eat some of your catch, how to keep that fish and what to do in the next step. So, so many basic skills in fishing that make you a better person. If you're seven years old or 17 or 37 or 77, who doesn't want to become a better person? Who, does, who doesn't want to learn, keep learning more basic skills? And through fishing, you can do that. And, and we're going to get to do that over the next uh, four, day, four or five days here. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, let, me, let me get to the last thing. Uh, uh, shout out to Gary Yang watching right now. Gary, thank you for tuning in. Um, one of the last things that I wanted to talk about in this first of a series of five lives and these will all be at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, set, set your alarms, set your reminders right now. 2 p.m. Eastern Time, all the way till Friday. And uh, every day, we're going to learn a new skill. I'm going to give you a rundown. I, I can't remember, so I'm going to read it off the paper. Uh, today, we're talking about why. Why are we going to try fishing? Why are we going to go fishing for the first time? Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about getting the basic gear securing the basic gear to go fishing for the first time. Once again, listen, if you're watching right now and you've never fished and you're saying, I don't, I don't have the money. I, you know, times are bad. And I know they are for a lot of people. Look at this. We're going to talk about the very basics. You don't need a giant budget. You don't need thousands of dollars. You don't need uh, golf clubs and golf balls that cost you thousands of dollars. We're going to talk about the very basic, very basic equipment 
that you need. Very, very basic, okay? So tomorrow is the basics of fishing and fishing gear and what you need. On Wednesday, we're going to actually go into the shop and we're going to prepare this gear. We're going to set it up. We're going to put line on rods. We're going to put hooks and lures on. We're going to put baits on. And we're going to end Wednesdays with practice casting, which is a lot of fun on its own. Let me tell you. Sometimes you don't have to be on the water. Uh, just practice casting can be a lot of fun. On Thursday, we're going to go in the office and we're going to talk about how to find a fishing spot. With today's technologies, so many great ways to be able to locate a fishing spot on your own um, before you ever leave the house. And then finally, and this is the one I'm looking forward to, and I hope everybody, please tune in for Friday, is we're going to go fishing on Friday. On Friday, we're going to go fishing, and we're calling it Let's Go Fishing. And we're going to take everything that we talked about over the, the prior four days, and we're going to actually go out on the water on this dock right here probably and i'm going to also have a couple special guests with me i'm going to have my son vegas and my daughter estella to help us with with uh, uh actually fishing and talking about how easy it is to go fishing again i said it four times i'm going to say it again number five if you're watching right now if you've never fished before don't be intimidated this is such an easy process this is such a great easy sport if you're teaching a kid it's such an easy thing to teach a child how to fish okay so hang in there with us so on friday we're actually go fishing but i want to end this and, and i'm going to answer some questions here at the end but i want to um end my little segment with the number one reason the number one reason that I want you to go fishing, that I want you to try fishing, that I want you to give it a go, especially now during this unprecedented, strange time. Here's the number one reason I want you to go fishing. And if you missed a lot of things I said in this whole video, listen to this one. This is the most important. I want you to try fishing. I want you to take a kid fishing because it is fun. It's fun. Listen, fishing is so fun. It's so enjoyable. Um, it's one of the most exciting, fun sports I know of in my life. Uh, it is you against the fish. It's, it's this mini competition that happens all the time. And even when you don't catch one, even when you have a bad day, and I still have bad days, you're outside, you're relaxing, you're with nature, you're with your kids, you're breathing the fresh air. Fishing is fun and it's exciting. Um, if you're watching right now and, and, and you remember fishing as a kid, if you can close your eyes and remember back to when your grandmother or your uncle or your dad or your mom took you fishing, you remember what I'm talking about. You remember those experiences on the water of, of, of getting that first bite and setting the hook and reeling in your first fish and your, your heart is pounding. And when you catch that fish, you look at it and that's, that's what it's all about. Um, fishing is fun. Fishing is exciting. If you've uh, had bad experiences with fishing before, or if you've watched fishing from afar and you think it's boring and it's slow and it puts you to sleep, if you think it's only for people that live in the South, if you think it's only for old people, none of that is true. Fishing is fun and exciting for everybody from three, four years old to 80 or 90 years old, men, women, different races, different parts of the world, tall people, short people. Uh, fishing is great and fun and exciting for everybody. And uh, what a great time. What a great time to have fun fishing, to try it. Um, there's so much negative going on. There's so much anxiety 
and fear and depression about the state of the world right now. And, and I'm one of them. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, I, I'm anxious. I'm depressed. I have days where I'm depressed. But when I get outside and I go fishing, when I get outside and I have that connection to nature, I'm happy. It's fun. It's exciting. Okay? What a great time right now to try fishing. Uh, I promise you, um, if you're watching right now, please, please tune in over the next four days. We're going to teach you how to fish. It's going to be easy. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You're going to learn a little bit. And when we finally get to go fishing on Friday, and when you get to go fishing, hopefully for the first time, you're going to have fun. Your kids will have fun. And your kids will remember it the rest of their life. It'll be a memory they will not forget. They're five, six years old. They won't forget. Okay, I'm getting emotional right now. Let's take some questions and then I'm going to end it. Uh, again, we're over on Instagram and we're on Facebook. Uh, let's take some questions. Uh, if anybody uh, has any questions for, you know, let's try fishing. Why fishing? Uh, we'll try to try to answer. Uh, Kim said, love, love the wind chimes. Thank you, Kim. Um, uh, we've got a little area out here where we have some wind chimes. We have some bird houses in the back. Uh, a lot of nature out here. It's great. Um, uh, Billy said, my son and I uh, fished for about five hours and caught some nice bass. Billy, good for you. Way to take your kid out. That's awesome. Uh, George checking in. Um, uh, and and uh, I, I've been a role model. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And, and we're sorry to hear about your father. Thank you. I uh, appreciate that. Uh, Fernando checking in with us. Um, we got Steven growing up on the east side of Cleveland. A, a rough neighborhood, I'm sure. Rough parts of Cleveland, right? I know. I grew up in Philly. Fishing and camping saved his life. Amen. Uh, same here. Thank you very much. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, Kimberly, can we put together something for South Jersey? Yes. Kimberly, uh, if you're watching right now, of course, we have an organization called The Ike Foundation. You can go to theikefoundation.org. And there's tons of great info there on events that we have in South Jersey and all over across the country. So keep in tune to the ikefoundation.org. When things get back to normal, uh, for sure, you're going to see some really great events uh, right here in this part of the state. Um, let's see. Uh, Bob says, bought my, uh, bought my daughter waders, and now we're trout fishing together in the river. Bob, perfect. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. What a great way to spend time with your daughter uh, in nature. Uh, we got Marty checking in, and he agrees that fishing is the best stress reliever in the world. And I agree with you, especially when it's just fishing, when you're fun fishing. Uh, you don't have to be fishing tournaments. I love tournaments, and I, I like to compete. But my days of fun fishing, when there's no money, no points, and no pounds... When I'm with my kids, when I'm by myself, there's some of the days I'll always remember, you know. Um, Jack Roy talking about kids can have fun fishing and all they need is a bobber and a hook. Yes, sir. We're going to be talking about that over the next couple days. Here's the great thing. Let me, let me grab my props again. If you're intimidated by getting bait, live bait, live, live worms, you don't even need live bait anymore. We're going to be talking about some great products over the next four days that you don't even need live bait anymore. You've got gulp. You've got power bait. There's all this great stuff where you don't even need, uh, you don't even need bait anymore. Okay. Uh, David says, um, yes, David basically making a comment that fishing from a, for, as a kid uh, kept him out of trouble. And I know it did for a lot of people. And it will still do that if you have kids that are in a, uh, in a situation where they're, uh, you know, it's not so good. What a great way to bring them back to the other side uh, is fishing. Uh, Matt making a comment that fishing, having a fish pull back and fishing, connecting with nature, is way better 
than any drug. I'd agree with that. Absolutely. I'd agree with that. Um, uh, we got, uh, let's see, we've got a comment about, um, um, is it Zaid? I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. Started fishing with his father before he passed away. Still fishing to this day. That is awesome. That's awesome. I love to hear that. Another story about parents taking kids fishing and it changed their lives and they're still fishing today. So uh, Mike checking in saying he tries to get fishing with his kids as much as he can. Thank you, Mike, for doing that. Um, Joe wants to go fishing with me when things are back to normal. Come on, Joe. We'll go fishing. Uh, uh, Jesse with a great comment right here. Be a hero. Take a kid fishing. Uh, absolutely, man. A lot of ways to be a hero. Speaking of heroes, uh, let's take a second real quick. I want to thank um, all our military, uh, active and veterans, men and women. Thank you for your service. Thank you for what you do. I want to thank our policemen, our firemen, our EMT, our doctors right now, our nurses. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for what you guys and girls do. Um, also, thank you to anybody in the service industry right now. Uh, it's a scary time. So if you're working at a restaurant or delivery, uh, truck driver, thank you. Thank you very much right now. Appreciate that. Um, let's see here. Uh, Scott said he brought his fish yesterday, Ike. I don't know if that means he caught one or he brought a fishing rod, but good job, Scott. Uh, Jim Moore wants me to bring back the city fishing show. Oh, Jim, we're going we're gonna to get it back for you. Uh, Adam, what not from braid to fluorocarbon? F G not. Google it. Okay. Uh, Bridget says my son loves fishing. He has been every day. Um, he thinks he's in heaven. Uh, I love it. Bridget, thank you for teaching him how to fish, uh, at, at a young age. Thank you. Mail carriers as well would be in that list of, of thank yous to people that are out there still working. Uh, thank you. Uh, listen, this was a great first day of this Ike's Fishing Basics 101. Um, tune in the next four days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Tune in the next four days at 2 p.m. Eastern time, and it's going to be great. We're going to be uh, talking about how to, how to go fishing, the basics, how to get a rod and reel, string it, hooks, uh, how to pick a location, and how to go fishing. If you've never fished before, tune in the rest of the week. You're going to have a good time. If you already fish, take a kid fishing changed their lives. Uh, what a great sport. Once again, be safe right now. Uh, I stress to everyone, um, follow federal guidelines, state guidelines. If you live in a place where you're uh, prohibited from fishing, I'm not advocating breaking the law, but if you can fish right now during this unprecedented time, try it. If you haven't fished, give it a shot. I promise you, you're going to have a lot of fun and it'll change your life for the better. Uh, see you later. Uh, see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time for Ike's Fishing Basics 101.